Now with the segment on the importance of early prenatal screenings. Here's our reporter, Laura Windsor. To avoid unnecessary complications during a pregnancy, the best a mother can do for herself and her baby is to get prenatal screening. Dr. Vivian Pan of Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo discusses the many complications that are detected and treatments that are provided during a woman's pregnancy. It would be our general recommendation that everyone have some form of prenatal screening. Um, now the important thing about that is uh, that the patient and her husband um, make a decision about what they would do with that information. So if you are a couple that is not inclined to act upon an abnormal result, then perhaps you are not the couple that would be inclined to have prenatal screening. But if you are a couple um, that would like as much information as possible going into the pregnancy and at the time of delivery, um, then prenatal screening would be um, a good option for you. The obvious risk factors would be if you have some sort of family history of a genetically inherited disease, that would be one reason to be seen by us or by our genetic counselors and they could sort through your family history and try to identify what this disease uh, is and perhaps if there is a prenatal screening test or a prenatal diagnostic test available for that couple. Um, the other obvious risk factors is if you've had a previous child with any sort of a birth defect, you may be a candidate for prenatal screening. Um, certainly if you've had a previous child with any sort of chromosomal abnormality, Down syndrome or other chromosomal abnormalities, you would also be a candidate. Um, if you are advanced maternal age, so greater than or equal to the age of 35 at the day of the, uh, the due date for the baby, uh, then you are a candidate for prenatal screening. But mostly, uh, it's pretty much all pregnant women get some form of prenatal screening during their pregnancy. In the first trimester, you can now have something called the first trimester screen, which can assess your risk of having a baby with trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome, or trisomy 18, which is another chromosome abnormality. If you uh, do not have the first trimester screen, you can then have something called the second trimester screen. And in the state of California, that's called also the expanded AFP screen. And that includes, uh, that's a blood test that measures three different hormones and proteins in the mother's serum. Um, and that, uh, the combination of those three hormones gives you a risk assessment for having a baby with uh, Down syndrome, trisomy 18, or spina bifida. The serum blood tests, you would also have ultrasound, which is another form of screening. If you identify an obvious physical abnormality with a baby or some sort of structural defect, um, that would lead or prompt us to further testing. For most people, you want to have your screening completed probably by 20 to 22 weeks gestation. The first trimester screen would be offered to patients anywhere between 10 and a half weeks to the very end of the 13th week. The second trimester screen begins as early as the 15th week to the end of the 20, uh, well, the end of the 19th week. Um, and the ultrasound certainly would be somewhere thrown in between uh, those time periods. For most of these conditions, there is no uh, in utero treatment. In other words, the fetus itself could not have some sort of corrective surgery or receive medications or something to correct the condition. But it is something that if uh, parents uh, ahead of time know about, they can educate themselves and know what to expect uh, when they give birth to a child that may have a particular condition or chromosome abnormality. By far, the, probably the best advance uh, for obstetrics and maternal fetal medicine has been uh, the ultrasound. Um, and the ability now for ultrasound to detect um, very minor things that uh, probably in 1970, 1980, you could not see. Um, these tests, these screening tests that we speak of, would not be possible without um, the advent of ultrasound and the resolution that we're able to get in this day and age. If you are pregnant or considering becoming pregnant, be sure to see your doctor to protect you and your baby's health. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.